Today we're going to go over Pythagorean Theorem. This should not be brand new stuff considering we've been using it all year, but you also should recognize it from middle school. Pythagorean Theorem only works for right triangles. Do not try to do it on any other triangle. And it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where your a and your b are your legs. And it doesn't matter which one you make a or b. It really doesn't. What matters is that c is always your hypotenuse. And also, an uh, easy way to figure out which one is your hypotenuse is that tiny little pink um, right angle will make an arrow that points to your hypotenuse. Alrighty, so some examples. Your hypotenuse is x, so 7 and 17 are your a and your b, and it doesn't matter which one you choose to make a or b. 7 squared plus 17 squared. 7 squared is 49. 17 squared is 289. When you add them together, you get 338. Take the square root of both sides. 338 is the same thing as 169 times 2. One six, the square root of 169 is 13. And don't forget, in Schoology, it would be S cubed, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it would be 13 S Q R T 2. All right, on this one, my hypotenuse is 25. So X squared plus 22 squared is equal to 25 squared. 22 squared is 484, 25 squared is 625, subtract 484 on both sides, x squared is equal to 141, take the square root of both sides, and there are no good factors for 141, no perfect squares, so it's just 141. So in Schoology, you would write SQRT in parentheses 141. Pythagorean triples are a set of non-zero whole numbers for A, B, and C so that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. In other words, all of them will be whole numbers. So in other words, this triangle here is an example if you do 3 squared plus 4 squared, it equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 9 plus 16 is 25. In other words, it works out. So all of them are going to be whole numbers. There's no weird square roots, no decimals, nothing like that. So for this one, it can also be multiples of triples. It doesn't just have to be 3, 4, 5. It can be 6, 8, 10. It could be 9, 12, 15, like our example here. So this 12 is um, the same thing as 4 times 3. This one's 5 times 3, which means that this one should be 3 times 3, which is 9. So that's just the way that it works. Um, there are lots of other triples. It's not just these. You can Google Pythagorean triples and get a full list of them. Um, I know last time I looked, Wikipedia had a whole bunch of them. So, um, you know, it can help you if you learn of all of these Pythagorean triples because you don't have to waste your time doing Pythagorean theorem. Um, a 3, 4, 5 triangle is the most common triangle that you see for Pythagorean triples, but there are others. And then, of course, we have the converse of Pythagorean theorem. So it's ways to tell if you have a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or an acute triangle. So a right triangle, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. 
that an obtuse triangle, c squared, will be greater than a squared plus b squared. And an acute triangle, c squared, will be less than a squared plus b squared. So these guys will tell you it would have to be equal for right, greater than for obtuse, and less than for acute, but only with the c squared on the left. So that's why we wrote it this way. c squared needs to be on the left. And remember that um, c is always your hypotenuse. So first of all, c is always on the left, or is always first. And it's always your biggest number because c is your hypotenuse, which is your longest side. So it's always first, and it's the biggest number. So whenever we check them, you put the biggest number first. And then we're trying to see how they're related. And then 11 squared plus 60 squared. 61 squared is 3,721. Eleven squared is one twenty one. Oops. And then sixty squared is three thousand six hundred. So whenever you add all those together, you end up with three thousand seven hundred and twenty one. So those are equal, meaning that this is a right triangle. Biggest one is twenty. Let's see how it compares with 6.2 squared and 13.8 squared. Now, the problem with this, though, is we're not even sure if this makes a triangle. 6.2 and 3.8 are really small sides, so let's check to make sure that it's a triangle first. 6.2 plus 13.8 is supposed to be bigger than 20. You have to remember that from Unit 5. The two smaller sides has to be bigger than the biggest side. Well, whenever you add both those together, you get 20. And that is not greater than 20. So this is not a triangle at all. This one, if you check it's a triangle, I should have checked if the first one's a triangle first. I apologize. I skipped that step. Um, for number six, you need to check that it's a triangle also. So... Um, these two together, are they greater than that one by, oh wait, yeah, that one by itself, in which case it is because both of those together are 9.1, whenever you put it in a calculator, and that will be greater than 6.7. So it is a triangle, so that's good news. So now we need to um, figure out what type of triangle it is. So three square roots of five squared. How does that relate to two square roots of three squared plus four square roots of two squared? Three square roots of five squared is 45. And this is why. So three square roots of five. I'm going to do it off the paper um, just because I've ran out of room. But remember that whenever you square something, it just times itself, right? And we did this already. Three times three is nine. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is the square root of 25, which is just 5, meaning that it's 45. So this is 45. 2 square roots of 3 squared looks like this. 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, which means it's 12. Sorry, the bell is going to ring in three in five minutes. Um, and then the last one, four square roots of two squared is the same thing as four square roots of two times four square roots of two. Four times four is 16. Square root of two times square root of two is square root of four. Square root of four is two, which is 32. So how does 45 compare to 12 plus 32, which is 44? This one is bigger, which means that it is obtuse. 
that's the end of your notes.